or not? Okay, today is maximum total gain. Okay, last time we done theorem of perpendicular axis. Remember, students, theorem of perpendicular. And this time we are doing theorem of, sorry, parallel we done. Now we are doing perpendicular. Now, before starting this, first we will understand the meaning of lamina. So, lamina ke hota hai? Lamina te ko yaha pe word hai, plain lamina. For example, you have paper. So, paper ke kaisa hota hai? Ek tum apne book se ya news ka paper le lo. So, ek paper baut patla hota hai, thin hota hai, correct? Right? Yes, Talib. Raise hand kyu kiya tumne? तो कोई पेपर एकदम पतला होता है तो अभी हम लोग क्या करने वाले ये जो एकदम एक थिन पेपर है ना इस थिन पेपर का हम लोग रोटेशन देखने वाले कि अगर अब मैं मान लो एक पेपर है मेरे पास मैंने बुक में से एक टायर किया एक पेपर जो कि बहुत पतला होता है थिन होता है उसको मेरे को रोटेशन करना एक एक्सिस से और देखना है वो कैसे रिवॉल्व करता है उसका उसके बेस पे ये थेरम बनाया गया तो थेरम ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस स्टेट दैट द मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया ऑफ Plane lamina. So suppose this is my random body, okay? And this is suppose this is my lamina body. Lamina word come from lamination. So sometimes see in class ten, what you have done, you cover your result with lamination. Remember, so lamination word is thin plastic is there. So this thin body, we are study in this theorem. We are study a thin body rotation, okay? So this body is very thin. That is why we are called lamina. Now this is my axis. We take z axis from anywhere. I am taking from O. This axis we rotate this body. Okay, students. So see here. First step. It is said that the moment of inertia about a plane lamina about an axis. So about an axis. What is that axis? So ye hai wo axis about an axis. Jaan se this body is rotating. Okay. आगे क्या लिखा है इज परपेंडिकुलर टू इट प्लेन नाउ लेट सी सो दिस इज माई प्लेन दिस पार्ट इज माई प्लेन एंड दिस एक्सिस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस प्लेन दैट इज ट्रू देखो ये इस तरह से नहीं है परपेंडिकुलर दिस एक्सिस प्लेन लैमिना के तो ये मेरा प्लेन लैमिना है और ये जो लाइन है जो उसके पर नीचे से गुजर रही है वो उसके परपेंडिकुलर है करेक्ट सो दिस पार्ट आई होप अंडरस्टूड is equal to the sum of moment of inertia of two mutually perpendicular axes ab wo kya bol raha hai which is equal to the sum of moment of inertia sum of moment of inertia so first inertia we are taking iz is equal to the sum of two moment of inertia that means ye jo iz hai wo do inertia ke equal hai so wo sum of two inertia ka naam hai suppose x aur y rakh deta hu aur isme bhi show karte hain is equal to the sum of moment of inertia hello this is x and this is y एक्स आगे क्या लिखा है तो सर सम ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया सम ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया अबाउट टू म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस कॉन्कोरेंट विच परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस एंड लाइंग इन द प्लेन ऑफ लैमिना बड़े कॉन्कोरेंट का मतलब क्या होता है यहाँ पर जो थियरम क्या बोल रहा है ऑल एक्सिस आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर तो दिस एक्सिस वी आर टेकन वन टू मोर एक्सिस विच इज इक्वल टू आई जेड एंड बोथ आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर सी i z is perpendicular to i x similarly i y is also perpendicular to both x correct and these two lines i x and i y is inside the lamina correct second part what the theorem says congruent so what do you mean by congruent the congruent are those points where the line is coming out so from this point this three line is coming out that is why we are called this point is a congruent point yahan se bahut sari line nikal rahi hai understood so i hope you understand the theorem concept and what we have to find out in this theorem i z is equal to i x plus i y okay students shall we further so students we take i x now each point we are giving name first we take small mass dm and then represent that point p next from i x we take side name n and from y x is side name we are represented by l now second we using the construction what we are doing this dotted line represent we are joining each point by this 
small bar okay so i z we are represented by this diagonal distance r y axis ka distance is represented by y and x axis distance is represented by x i hope we have all point o n is x o l is y o p is r similarly from opposite side see o l n n p these are the opposite side we know that in rectangle the opposite side is always same so if o l is y then n p is also y similarly o n and x b see o n and x p if o n is x then similarly x p is always again x understood this part so what we have to do we write yes, this diagram sir. material i x i y i z is my moment of inertia of plane lamina of o x o y o z the principle of perpendicular axis theorem what we have to prove that we have to prove that i z is equal to i x plus i y then we have done construction that that construction part i already explained in diagram understood and what we have i x is nothing but distance now i x ka distance we are represented by x and mass is dm so x square dm similarly i y ka distance we are represented by y square dx how we are getting this formula so we already know about moment of inertia what is moment of inertia mass into distance square remember ye starting mein jab calculate kar rahe the na tabhi hum log ne ye formula pata kar liya tha ha na i z ka kya rahega i z is nothing but integration of i z ka distance we are taking r r square c now again come to the diagram in diagram देख एनी ट्राइंगल सी वी हैव टू ट्राइंगल हियर एंड वन हियर वी आर टेकिंग ओ पी एल ट्राइंगल इन ओ पी एल ट्राइंगल वी आर अपलाइंग पाइथागोरस थियर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू पाइथागोरस वी नो दैट ओ पी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू पी एल स्क्वेयर एंड ओ एल स्क्वेयर करेक्ट दिस इज माई पाइथागोरस थियरम सो वट इज पाइथागोरस थियरम ओ पी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ओ एल स्क्वेयर करेक्ट मैं वापस से देख लेता मैं कुछ एक गलती से मैंने कुछ क्लिक कर दिया ये पूरा इंटर आ गया अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस हाँ दिस इज माई ओ पी पी एल एन ओ एल ओ पी पी एल एन ओ एल ओ पी ओ एल एन पी एल दिस इज माई पाइथाग्रस थी नेक्स्ट क्या करना है पुट द वैल्यू op value is r square ol value ol value is actually y square and pl value is x square second multiply by dm so we are multiply by dm each place and integrate each part so we are applying integration next we know that i z is equal to r square dm correct na so we are replacing this part by i z second we know that x square dm is the formula of i x so we are replace this part by ix and y square dm is nothing but i by so we prove this theorem perpendicular axis theorem i have copy small theorem tha correct so ye theorem less pushed hai parallel theorem mein zyada pushed hai now yes, kinetic sir. energy of rolling body this part is reduced reduced by 2020 this part is not there so we are directly come to what you have rolling motion is cancel out this part is not there in your this 2020 portion now we are directly come to the angular momentum and its conservation now for understanding angular momentum we have to understand what do you mean by momentum so we already know about in class 11 we study momentum is represented by symbol p and momentum is nothing but the product of mass and velocity or simply we can say that momentum is equal to mass into velocity similarly in rotation in rotation how we represent momentum so in rotation p is represented by l this l represent the angular momentum okay angular momentum mass is represented in rotation i that is inertia and velocity is represented by omega that is angular velocity so this formula is based on magnitude now we see the formula based on vector now vector formula is down according to vector what is the formula vector n is equal to r into P. How we are getting this formula? So very easy. So for understanding this formula, one minute, we take a rod. In this rod, we take one fixed support, 
n at the terminal it having any mass and from this to this this is the distance from center to this terminal okay and when they rotate they perform some amount of linear velocity correct so mass and linear velocity is nothing but momentum so here momentum is perpendicular to radius correct now if we make here angle theta because this momentum is perpendicular so we are getting the angular momentum value so angular momentum how we calculate angular mo momentum that the distance and this linear momentum represent the angular momentum the rotation of momentum now r and p is perpendicular based on this we can say that here theta is angle is equal to 90 degree so we are taking here sin theta why i am taking sin theta because sin theta represent how much they rotate opposite upon hypotenuse i hope you know about this formula so with the help of this formula we can represent their rotation that is why i am taking only trigonometry sign sin theta now theta is 90 so what we are getting final formula r into p only now we know the formula of p p is nothing but mass into velocity correct so we are taking p as a their value what is the value of p we are taking that uh, not now this part i am representing here and p is nothing but mv so i am taking p is equal to mv r is as it is sin theta sin theta is 90 so this part is gone what we are getting left l is equal to mv r now we have three different formula of angular momentum one formula is i is l is equal to i omega second formula is l is equal to r into p and third formula is l is equal to m into v into r both formula is angular momentum okay si unit of angular momentum is kilogram meter square per second cgs unit is gram centimeter square per second dimension is m1 l2 t minus 1 now second we are we having one body and scientists say that find out this body angular momentum now listen here this body is rotating at constant angular velocity and scientists say find out this rotating body angular momentum so the angular momentum symbol is capital s in this case we are finding now same diagram a rigid body we are taking same we are taking one axis from any place so i am taking here i am putting this axis name o from axis we know that this whole body is made up of tiny rigid particle and a tiny small particle so from axis of point o to so some distance we are saying one particle name m1 and then r1 correct and their linear momentum is p1 p1 represent their linear momentum understood this part so this part is same pehle bhi hum log ye sab part kar chuke hain rigid body mein only the difference what we are taking now this time we are taking linear momentum understood here p2 is represent linear momentum of 2 so we already know this whole body is made up of infinite number of tiny particles so we can't give each particle name ana representing mass of particle number of mass of particle mn and their distance is rn and their linear momentum is p second we know the formula of velocity v is equal to r omega we know the formula of linear momentum m into v we know the formula of v v ka formula is r omega so put replace this v by r omega what we are getting p is equal to m r omega this part is clear how we are getting this formula students we are repeating remember kinetic energy of rotating body same vc ja raha hai yahan par so we know the formula of angular momentum kyunki hum log ko angular momentum find out karna hai is full body ka so angular momentum is nothing but p into r now what is p mr omega so take this replace this p by mr omega r is as it is so this r and this r become r square so we are getting l is equal to mr square omega understood this part students understood this part if you understand this part we done our derivation so we first calculate each particular angular momentum so l1 is equal to m1 r1 omega r1 square omega similarly l2 is n2 r2 square omega similarly we have number of angular momentum particles so ln is equal to mn rn square omega but we have to find out the full body angular momentum so what we do we add all particle 
angular momentum l1 plus l2 plus l now same thing happens first l1 is m1 r1 square r1 square omega second particle is m2 r2 square omega similarly dotted till n number of particle we have m n r n square omega we are represented by this now again omega part is constant correct so the constant part we take out and what is the remaining part m1 r1 square m2 r2 square plus dotted m n r n square what is the common part we are taking out omega is common part now similarly this internal part is increasing in ascending order this is nothing but arithmetic progression form so we are representing this part by submission what submission says so this particle starts from one position they start with one number and do they are going to till n the term so it represented by mi ri square so we already know inertia is nothing but mass into distance square so we are replacing this part by inertia so what we are getting our formula i omega i hope you understood how we are getting this formula the derivation is still repeating derivation okay now second last part is principle of conservation of angular momentum now here the word angular conservation is nothing but constant what this principle says the angular momentum of rotating body is conserved that means constant remain constant if the resultant external torque acting on the body is zero in simple word can we say that if my rotating body angular momentum is zero then the force acting on that body is also zero if you are not applying any force of any body the body is not rotate so that angular momentum is zero i we understand this principle the principle is very simple body is rotate when when you apply force if you are not applying force the body is not rotated so this principle says if you are not applying any force of, of any rotating body this body is not rotated understood so we are derived this principle we know the formula of angular momentum what is the formula of angular momentum l is equal to r into t correct now differentiate this formula with respect to t so it become dl upon dt d upon dt r into p now here we are representing the formula derivative formula u into v remember this formula in mathematics so first take r constant so what we have dp upon dt next time take p constant so what we are getting dr upon dt now here dp upon dt is nothing but force how we are getting this formula so we already know about force ka formula force is nothing but mass into acceleration and mass acceleration is nothing but change in velocity upon time now we already know mass and velocity is nothing but linear momentum correct so can we represent mass into velocity by dp and that dt is as it is so i hope you understand how we are getting this formula dp upon dt so can we say that dp upon dt is nothing but force so replace dp upon dt by f similarly in this part dr upon dt what is dr upon dt now here r represent distance so distance upon time is nothing but the velocity formula so we are replacing this part by v now in vector form v cross v ka value is zero i hope you know about vector concept if both part is same and they are cross product so the cross product of same value is zero so if this part is zero this whole part becomes zero now this r and f now r and f here represent the torque okay students so we are replacing r into f by torque now in principle law of conservation of angular momentum the torque is constant correct now so we are taking if constant constant is represented by value zero so my dl upon dt becomes zero now dl upon dt is nothing but angular momentum so angular momentum is constant constant means angular momentum is zero so we see the application one blader application is given a girl is doing blender dance if they are 
taking their hand hand in compressed form inside so their motion is high that means their mass become low and inertia so their inertia become low okay and their angular velocity is increasing but what happens if the girl is expanding their hand if they expand their hand the distance is increased if the distance is increased so their inertia is also increased correct and an angular velocity is decreased so if this girl want to rotate fast so they need to reduce their hand distance okay if they want to rotate slow they will increase their head so they their angular rotation become okay so the, so we left one part that is torque part so we will see the torque part where is the torque part we done this theorem okay last time we done torque wala part b remember so here we will complete our chapter rotational dynamics okay students anyone having any doubt from this chapter yes students so we start their numerical part okay shall we start numerical part okay first we complete the given sol example numerical so we are coming to textbook this is your textbook already sol example numerical is given so first we understand given sol example numerical first numerical is example one so i am increasing their size okay i hope now you now question is visible for to you students now example one a fan is rotating so we take for rotating fan we need one axis where the fan is moving understood at 90 rpm rpm here rpm is nothing but revolution per minute and this unit is represented by frequency so first we have to convert into standard form rps rps minute to second so we are divide by 60 so it become rps now 0 and 0 cancel correct 3 to the 6 3 3 the 9 3 upon 2 rp the value is 3 upon 2 rp it is then switch off it divide bhi to hoega na sir 3 or upon 2 no need because jo value aega fraction mein aega okay kar dete to 1 theek hai sir 2 pi the tenth what we are getting 1.5 rp okay this is my n n is represent the frequency of rotation it stop after 21 revolution after they are stopping by 21 revolution okay calculate the time what we have to calculate t is equal to question mark by stopping assume that the frictional torque is constant we have to assume that the torque is constant this symbol is called torque and the symbol is represented by tau actually the symbol name is tau and this symbol represent the torque okay so now what we have given frequency is given a 90 rpm and how we are converting 90 rpm by 1 1.5 rpm i hope you understand here okay now in this case the fan is rotating if the fan is rotating we know the angular velocity formula what is angular velocity formula distance upon time now object is moving in circular path so the distance is nothing but the circumference now we know the circumference formula what is the circumference formula 2 pi r i hope you remember this formula and time is as it is correct sure now what we are getting here 1 upon t is what is 1 upon t 1 upon t is nothing but frequency correct na so you are replaced by this part by this this way 2 pi r n understood so omega is given 2 pi r n here distance is given if distance is given we are represented by distance if distance is not given we are remove this distance okay so so here distance is not shown because distance is not given now 2 pi why we are taking 2 pi because 2 pi pi value is 180 so 2 into 180 is 360 correct so one complete circular motion how much degree required 
360 so we are represent z degree by pi radian form so it become 2 pi n 2 what pi. is the value of n value of n is 1.5 so multiply by 1.5 by this what we are getting 3 pi radian per second i hope you understand how we are getting this value students omega 0 is represent the initial angular velocity yes student why is this clear how we are getting this i hope you clear student aage bade chalo na awaaz aa rahi ha this why is this coming from wo no, mic ka kuch problem ki wajah se aa raha hai mera nahi not in my mic mic mute kar din aawaz aati hai not in my sir taal taalib ki wajah se aa rahi talib sari hamare ke jaisa hai ye bhin bhin aawaz talib ko we have to kya hamare na hamare ke jaisa bhin bhin aawaz aa rahi hai mere wajah se nahi aa raha hai kya samne bolna hota nahi next aapne abhi mobile se nikal ke bolu dekhe sir uske aawaz sahi aa rahi hai bolu na sabko मेरे पास यहाँ पे ऑप्शन है नहीं पहले लड़ लो तुम लोग नहीं लड़ लड़ लेने दो सारे लोग को पहले कर रहे सिक्योरिटी फीचर ही है नहीं सर लड़ लेने दो इन लोग को पहले अरे फिजुल में म्यूट हो जाओगे तुम लोग कौन है मेरे को यहाँ पे माइक पता चल जाए फिर अम्मार तो अम्मार इज म्यूटेड नो वरी वी कैन हियर अम्मार वही तो Let's take a tick mark and numerical. We start on tomorrow. Okay, students. Uh, then where is the? Ha. See, go question or answer part. Pe aa jaate students. Kya kya remove hai? Wo dekh lete. So, ko lag raha hai, I'm very far away. One by one, just so. Sabhi ko maine mute kar diya kya? So not no issue. This is good for you. Now listen, ah. Now today is homework is. we already done question number 1 question number 2 remember question number 3 and i give you define radius of now question number 4 is also homework this part i am not given radius of gyration remember this is cancel cancel this question number 5 because this question is not there in your board exam next question number 3 now question number 3 already given homework now question number 4 is your assignment today assignment and question number 5 is also your today assignment question number 6 is your assignment question number 7 is your assignment talk question number 8 is in your assignment say to explain the principle of conservation of angular momentum use a suitable illustration yes question number 9 is also your assignment and interlink between translation rotate kinetic energy of Question number ten, cancel it. Question number ten is not there in your board exam. Question number eleven, cancel it. This question is not there in your board exam. Okay. So take a screenshot, student. Ah yes, student. Now can you hear me, student? Hello, student. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now cancel this question because this question is not there in your board exam. So, guilty say it. Padliya say this is your mistake. Okay, student. Question number five. Question number ten. Question number eleven. Rolling motion is yes, your board exam. Okay, student. So, the remaining question. Yes, student. Assignment. Uh, assignment. Kab tak dena hai? Remaining assignment Monday. फिजिक्स असाइनमेंट सर दो दिन तो हो रहेगा सर एंड द मैथ असाइनमेंट यू आर गिविंग मी ऑन संडे ओके हां सर संडे इज योर मैथ असाइनमेंट सर मैं तो संडे के बाद दूं फिजिक्स सर तो कल तो ईद है यस सर हां सर कल ईद है सर तो सैटरडे देयर इज नो असाइनमेंट ना असाइनमेंट इज देयर ऑन संडे संडे टुडे इज फ्राइडे टुमारो इज सैटरडे छुट्टी 
try karo because they are trying they having good opportunity student zyada good ho yes student ha sir aap zyada good ho aap zyada good ho sir oh my god main aapko 9 tarikh ko dunga sir main 9 tarikh ke baad yes 9 tarikh is my sunday correct na okay student are nahi sir main gaon mein hona isliye sir i give you the time all assignment time on sunday meko evening tak de do na evening tak to tum kuch nahi karne wale ho khana khaoge gosht khar ke sote rahoge tab meko sunday sir sunday gosht pakne rahega na ye sunday bhi nahi sunday ko tum log late dena 12 baje mat dena because main sota hu wo time pe sunday sunday likhne ki zarurat nahi thi sir why संडे <laughs> लिखने की जरूरत नहीं थी सर क्यों नहीं लिखने की जरूरत है संडे ही देना है ना ये तो सबमिट मैथ एंड साइंस ऑफ साइंस अच्छा लिखते हैं ना सर आपको इफ यू डन बिफोर संडे मान लो आज ही किसी ने कर लिया था ये सपोज तो सबमिट कर दो जल्दी से ऐसा कोई इशू नहीं है और लिखते मैं एक असाइनमेंट चेक करता हूं तो सपोज मैंने बोल दिया कि योर असाइनमेंट इज करेक्ट सो इफ यू डोंट नो द आंसर ऑफ दैट असाइनमेंट यू कैन कॉपी दैट स्टूडेंट असाइनमेंट पिक ओके उसका ही लेके तुम अपनी नोटबुक में कॉपी कर लो अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट तो सेम स्टूडेंट आई मीन 9 तारीख के बाद तो सर मैं भी गांव में हूं तो 9 तारीख को आऊंगा सर बंबई इसलिए बाद में देता हूं ना ना वक्त आसान है ना गांव वाला स्टूडेंट लिसन गांव वाले स्टूडेंट टेक सर वक्त आप ग्रुप में आएगा ना पता उसका पिक अपने पास स्टोर करके रखो अंडरस्टूड वरना क्वेश्चन आंसर कैसे कर पाओगे कॉलेज चालू होगा तो बर्डन आ जाएगा तुम्हारे पे हां सर ओके okay, और बाकी ये जो नया पैटर्न जो भी आ रहा है शो कर रहा है वो कुछ नहीं है सब कुछ नॉर्मल चलेगा ओके okay, स्टूडेंट तो ये मत तो सारे नया अम्मा मुझे भेज देना आप पिक यूज हो गया है हां बस आज का असाइनमेंट का मैंने टिक मार्क ऑलरेडी गिवन है असाइनमेंट टिक मार्क आई होप यस सर सो ऑल थ्योरी क्वेश्चन एक्सेस क्वेश्चन नंबर दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर मैं अभी साइन कर देता हूं तुम लोगों को क्या सो तो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फोर सेव क्वेश्चन भी ऑलरेडी डन है तो मैंने उसको वापस से टिक किया और ये जो कैंसिल करवाया है ना वो नहीं है ओके तीन क्वेश्चन कैंसिल कराए तो आई एम टेकिंग दिस पिक बस ऑलरेडी आई एम टेकिंग योर अटेंडेंस पिक योर अटेंडेंस टुडे टुडे डेट इज Thirty first, seven, twenty, and time is your timing is ten forty a.m. Correct. So we save today attendance, physics attendance. Thirty first dot zero seven dot twenty. Next, we I am taking this pick for Sunday. Yes, today. आप सोशल मीडिया में किस किस पे हो सर क्या बोल रहे हैं आप सोशल मीडिया पे किस किस पे हो सोशल मीडिया में मैं सिर्फ अच्छा ये पर्सनल चीज है कि पूछनी भाई ये पूरा पे YouTube पर है YouTube पे अरे बता वीडियो बोलना देखो आरपा को प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है सर सही काम ही पूछ रहे ना आप उधर डाल जिसको पढ़ना होगा यहाँ भी पढ़ लेगा ऐसा लगता है ना की टीचर ज्यादा पढ़ता है स्टूडेंट से बिकॉज आई एम बिजी विद योर नोट अभी मुझे सेकंड चैप्टर का भी नोट कवर करना है तो मैं उसमें बिजी रहता हूँ मुझे टाइम नहीं मिलता है ये सब चीज़ सर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि तुम्हारा सर मैंने सेकंड मिनट भेज दिया वो ताली जानता है आई एम टेकिंग पिक सर दिस एंड आपने बजना लिया है सर हाँ और कुछ पूछ ले वक्ता तो ये पूरा पिक का है कि हाँ पूरा आ गया पिक इस टाइम पिक तो फिजिक्स असाइनमेंट
I'm sending you this to the family of the channel. Class, class, okay, you are actually the drug group. Sir, physics में मिलना। हाँ सर, physics वाले group में। physics के group में मिलना। I'm sending you. I'm sending you. असाइनमेंट आ चुका है तुम लोग को ठीक है भी फुल एक्सरसाइज करना है स्टूडेंट ऑल एक्सरसाइज पूरा कंप्लीट करना है This message was sent by Azim sir. Okay, we we'll stop here. So we will meet Monday with new chapter. Okay, school, and we are completing this numerical part two.